Hey, what's up guys? This is Jay here. Hope you guys are doing well and safe. Today I want to give you guys a setup tutorial. Some of you guys asked in the comments and other social media. So I wanted to give you guys the setup that I'm doing for the Note 20 Ultra. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. So everything that I use will be in the links down below underneath the like button in the description. So you don't have to worry about where I get this, where I get that wallpapers and things like that will all be there that I use in this particular video. So let's go ahead and talk about the next item, which is this bottom widget here. It's a Google search widget. And what I do is I go into KWG team, make sure you guys have that installed along with the pro key. Once you guys have that pretty much, let me go over kind of what it's doing. Um, basically has the, you know, the Google dots there has the Google logo at the middle. And this is a, you know, um, so this is a customized widget from me. I did modify it from original KWGT widget pack. I'll go ahead and link that in the description. So normally it comes with two elements here, the shape and the stack group. I added a third shape here, as you guys can see on the left hand side, just so I can enter in. KWGT editor very quickly if I want to change something on the fly. So once you do that, so to do that, um, you just hit the add button at the top there. Once you add it, you can just select rectangle, put the size and shape that you guys want, and go to touch, custom action, and advanced editor. You select that and pretty much you're good to go there. So for the main change I did, it was pretty much not much. I just made this bigger. You go to layer and then uh, select scale. Once you do that, go ahead and put the scale number there. You just basically put it so that it looks good to your eyes based on the widget size that you had selected from GWGT. So we're going to go back here. We're going to go to the stack group. Now I'm going to select the G because I did change this. Originally, it was the uh, product stands regular. And I changed it to Ubuntu regular just to uh, make it a little bit different. Rather than the boring old you know, product stands that we've had for years now. So I made that changed. And I made the size a little bit bigger. So we're going to save that. Once you're done. And then you're good to go. Now, of course, um, as you guys can see, it's kind of clashing with the wallpaper. And for me, I'm OK with that because um, I've selected different wallpapers and different wallpapers will reflect differently. As you can see, the lighting is not actually matching because this is a light wallpaper and a white text kind of on top of it. So, of course, there are kind of limitations. You can't only put like um, light wallpapers. You can only put darker wallpapers so that it comes out OK. So speaking of wallpapers, I want to go over the wallpaper next. So you guys can see I have this sweet anime wallpaper here. How did I get this? I got it on pixiv.net. I'll link the app in the bottom in the description. But basically, I got a bunch of wallpapers. I put it in a folder on my SD card here. And I use an app called Muse. Muse. Not sure how to pronounce that, but it's been around for a while. It's a really great app. It's pretty much just like Wallpaper Engine. But for Android, it's amazing. I really recommend it. So to use Muse, we're going to go to the app itself. As you guys can see, it shows the app right now that you're using. Pretty nice. So pretty much, so pretty much when you set up, it's going to be blank. It's going to have some default wallpaper here. Um, you can actually view your gallery if you click this and you go to uh, your gallery app and then check it out you can actually look at the photo um, but for my case to set this up we're going to go to sources you're going to go to this uh, second card here you're going to select you can have settings here and you see that you go there you can see which folder it's been selected you could add more folders and you go ahead and add it here so if you want to add your own custom folder with a bunch of photos in there, pretty much go to settings. You can hit this three icons and you can import photos and you can import it for wherever. And then once you import it, you're pretty much good to go. So um, that's pretty much how I did it. You can do it from this way too. 
whatever you like. So one other thing I did want to show you guys here is the third icon here at the bottom says effects. You guys go here. You guys can see that there is a blur, dim, and gray option. This is probably not the best photo to show that in, but because it's dark. Okay, let's go to this one. So you guys can see that there's a blur, dim, and gray option. And if I slide it over, you see right now it's going to change the home screen. If I slide it over all the way, it's going to make it really blurry. All right? And you can make it dim. You can make it really, really dim. It takes a second to, to change. Or you can make it really grayscale. Take away the saturation. So for the home screen, this is kind of my settings. I don't dim anything. I kind of just leave it default. But for the lock screen, I do uh, dim it a little bit and then everything else leaves the same, but you can change it to whatever you like. You make it more blurred. Takes a second. You can unblur it. You can make it more dim. So you get the picture there. Uh, you can make it more grayscale if you like, of course. So yeah, and basically uh, when you lock the screen and turn it back on, you'll see that the changes have taken effect. So let's go ahead and do that for demonstration purposes. But so if I do that, you guys can see it does take a little second, which is why I don't like it when it's dramatic like that. But yeah, so I do like it when it's more subtle. So if I do it again, right? You can't really see the difference there. So you see this little icon at the top there. You click it, you'll see this auto advanced setting. Basically, this allows you to automatically switch wallpapers, rotate wallpapers through every hour, day, whatever setting you like there. Um, you can also have it only auto advance when you're on Wi-Fi. Um, I don't like that it's, you know, I don't like that it's, uh, I don't like it's only has these options. I wish you could just put your own option there, but it is what it is. And yeah, unfortunately it also is only randomized. So you can't go in a certain alphabetical order or number order or whatever, but that's why I have the gesture to switch. So to get that gesture set up, what you guys want to do is you're going to go to Muse. You're going to click the three dots there. You're going to customize gestures. Now you can see it has double tap, three finger tap. So I just use double tap, it's a little bit easier for me. And I just click on next artwork. And that's pretty much it. You set that, you're good to go. Now, I'm sure you guys are wondering, how about this widget here? So this one is a custom widget that I found some time ago. I'll link it in the description. And I took the liberty of making some mods and quite a bit of changes so what I'll do is I'll include the preset so you guys can change it to whatever you like um, but for the sake of this video so you guys may be wondering what this top widget is this is a KWG widget that I found some time ago so I took some liberties to make some mods added this portion here and yeah it was pretty cool setup at the time I still like it um, I've had it for a while so uh, but let me show you guys kind of what it has here. So I do have a uh, battery check here. So I click that bottom one and it gives me the battery uh, status here. How much battery I've been using. If we go back, this one, this bottom one here is the weather widget. If I click on it, it shows me. So this one will show me the weather. I'll open it, but it's going to close because right now I'm on airplane mode. And so this one right here goes to nothing right now. I haven't really set it up, but yeah, uh, you can set it to whatever you want. And I'll show you guys how to do that. And then this top one goes to my calendar. So you go to that, it goes to calendar, you're good to go. So it's a pretty neat setup. It's kind of like shortcuts and then visual information right on top of it. So yeah it's pretty cool let's go ahead and dive into it all right so we're gonna go back here and yeah that's pretty much just like one example of that 
Now the last one I mentioned that I added this top portion myself. So I created an overlap group. So you guys can see this is that section has the, the shape of the circle and then the image, the text, you can put whatever text there. And then I picked this um, particular font. It's really cool. I like it. It's kind of different. Um, pretty much, yeah. And you put your own image here. This is what I had. So of course you can put whatever size you want. Just make it fill in there and move around until it's centered and you're good to go there. So one of the tricks with this one is you have this kind of overlaying element on top of the information so that you could enable a shortcut. And so how I did that was I actually created this, these three extra shapes. You guys see this down here. I didn't put it into overlap widget so that um, it's a little bit easier to find quickly. You don't have to go in. You see the first one is for this weather one. And the second one is for the calendar. And then the third one is for the battery. It's not in order because when I did it at the time, I kind of just did it to get to work. But basically, go into the, let's go into this one. We're going to go to touch. We're going to launch app. You pick the app that you want. And in this case, I picked Overdrop, and then it's going to launch it. Um, pretty much the same with the other ones. Now, this uh, the battery one might be a little bit different for depending on which phone you guys going to set up. If you're going to set up with this phone, it's a little bit harder with like OnePlus or Google. It's a lot easier to find. Um, and I'll show you guys what I mean. So you're going to have to use this launch activity. This is a little bit difficult here. You're going to have to go to settings, right? But as you guys can see, there's a bunch of stuff here. Um, normally, like on more standard stock Android, it doesn't have all this stuff laid out like this. Um, it categorizes a little bit easier, so it's easier to find. Um, so you'll have to kind of just dig through your settings to figure out um, which setting you want to go to, kind of have to like trial and error. So you see settings has 316 activities. So yeah, it took me a little bit to get to this. So again, I'll save this particular preset so if you have an S20, or excuse me, a Note 20 Ultra, so I'll save this particular widget again so that if you have this particular phone, you can set it up. You don't have to worry about finding it in the settings. I did that work for you guys. So if you guys like that, please uh, consider subscribing and uh, enabling notification bar. So yeah, if you guys like that, please just get... So yeah, if you guys like that, please just get... So yeah, that's pretty much it with this widget here. So if you guys can go back and you see how clean it is, this is kind of like the more ideal wallpaper. You guys can see that kind of the left side is kind of dark and unused as far as like any kind of graphics. And then the bottom as well, kind of going like an L shape. As you guys can see there, it's pretty clean. Uh, of course, I had to re-enable the navigation uh, because it's hard to kind of show you guys pressing the buttons like this. But yeah, normally I have this disabled and then you guys can have this enabled or disabled. It's up to you guys. But yeah, that's pretty much it with the setup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, uh, please leave a like, um, add a comment. Let me know what you guys think, anything I could do next. Um, if you guys want to see more of this stuff, please yeah, also let me know. Uh, yeah, and if you want to see more of this stuff, please consider subscribing and enable the notification bell. But yeah, with that, I hope you guys are doing well and safe again, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.